We are in Bethlehem, PA, about to do a little visit to the steel stack. Uh, after Bethlehem Steel discontinued its steel making activities at the main Bethlehem plant back in 1995, uh, which served for 140 years of metal production. Outside consultants developed concept plans uh, for the reuse of the property the plan was to rename the site Bethlehem Works and to use the land for cultural recreational educational entertainment and retail development including the Smithsonian Institution an educational and research institute let's check out the stacks kids being kids Looks like they have an upcoming event. I think that's the main entrance or is this the main entrance? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Let's go across the street. History in the making guys. At nighttime, they light this up, different colors. It looks very, very cool. All right, let's go inside. Oktoberfest. Wow, look at these giant pumpkins. Yep, they have some live music here, all types of entertainment, musical acts, food. Definitely is a fun place to visit. I wonder if Oktoberfest just passed or are they setting it up? Huh. So this is the Oktoberfest Arena over here. Check out the stacks in the background. Up close. That could be an entrance. I'm not sure. Well, go up the stairs. The keg Christmas tree right here. All these buildings. This looks like a giant cruise ship of steel mills combined. So some some fun facts about the stacks the two largest furnaces are more than 230 feet tall from the west side of the a furnace most westerly to the east side of the e furnace it's approximately 1100 feet almost a quarter mile let's see if you can go upstairs The furnace A, the, I mean the A furnace, is the oldest, dating back from 1915. By the way, on your website, uh, it says ours opens at five. What are they talking about? Could you be more specific? Yeah, if you go to Steel Stacks on Google Maps, it says opens at five. Is, is this just? This is basically a park, correct? Essentially. So. This is all privately owned by ArtsQuest. Okay, yep. The 
the trestle is considered to be a public park. Okay, yeah, that's what we want to see. Yeah, um, that'll be open. You can. And so we can just walk around, check it out. Yeah, you can go all the way up. All it goes down. Oh, it goes up this yeah. way. It's like a little trail. Yeah, it's just an elevated walking path. Gotcha, gotcha. Sidewalk. Does it bring you down back there somewhere? Or? Yeah, there's a middle staircase that'll bring you out down by that building, and oh. then there's a third staircase that'll bring you out to the casino parking lot. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's about, I don't know. Was Oktoberfest last weekend? Did we miss it? Or? Uh, so, it's open uh, Fridays 5 to, uh, 5 to 11. Okay. Saturday 12 to 11. So, so, it's a weekend thing. Correct. Oh, and it gets wild here, huh? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Alright, cool. Got some inside. So, this Oktoberfest. The party starts Friday and lasts into the, the weekend. Okay. And there's a casino up there. Why are you flying? There's a bunch right here. The beginning of Bethlehem Steel. 150 years of industrial history. Some in info bulletins for you guys. Oh, this is kind of slippery. Wow. Take your feet up. Can you imagine people running up and down those stairs? These things were boiling, uh, melting steel into different shapes, producing steel. That's awesome. Oh, he looks, he looks like he's having a bowl. Eric, you're having a bowl. Look at the cool view, guys. Look at all these abandoned buildings. Those buildings up, uh, all those factory buildings. Yeah, it's awesome seeing like a brand new building mixed in with these abandoned factories. Whoa, look at that, that's so cool. Life on the south side of Bethlehem. The streets that stretch up from the steel plant make up South Be Bethlehem. Over the decades, this community grew along with Bethlehem's uh, steel's growing workforce. Generations of workers lived, shopped, attended school and church, played sports, and socialized in the shadow of the steel. The locals' nickname for the plant. Most of the iron was used in steel making, um, but a small percentage went to the iron and ignot mold foundries. Uh, the furnaces were last operated back on November 18th, 1995. At one time, there were seven furnaces altogether. And this used to be the lifeblood of the Bethlehem community for over 100 years. And so rather than demolish the historic mill, uh, the community rallied 
around this iconic plant to bring it back to life. We got the whole place to ourselves, to ourselves it seems. One of the hardest jobs in the world. It's like a dungeon, he said. <laughs> the rig shop was next to us, so sometimes the riggers would come through. They're like motorcycle gang of Bethlehem steel. These guys were mean looking, bearded risk takers. And these were the chutes that would bring up and the steel up to the top of the furnace, I, I do believe. And they had a pulley system. Let's carry on. And over the last several years, more than $70 million has been invested into the Steel Stacks project through state and federal grants and generous contributions from corporate and private donors, realizing the enormous benefits of um, to redeveloping the property. Today, the former steel plant is once again thriving. This time, as a one of the premier, as one of the premier destinations in the Northeast for music, art, and entertainment. Since its opening back in 2011. More than 1 million people have visited Steel Stacks to enjoy almost 2,000 plus musical performances, films, community celebrations, and festivals, including Mickey Fest. Uh, actually, it's Music Fest, the largest free music festival in the nation. There. Is that a rat? I think that's a rat. That's not a doggy. Is that Mickey Mouse?
Yeah, he's got some nice kicks too. Those are Nikes or Adidas? Uh, I got bigger shoes on. So what was it? I think it's a rat. Oh, it's a bear? Uh, I'm not sure. Here's their upcoming act for Music Fest. The town square where the magic happens here in Bethlehem, PA. And this arts quest put, put a lot of funding into revitalizing the plant and saving it from demolishment. And there's a beautiful movie theater inside too. Checking out the second floor of this building. Some Amazing art. Glad I went upstairs to check this out. Check out how beautiful this glass. Very pretty. And off we go to our next adventure.